I feel like Mr. Deeds as a film gets too much hate. That's not to say it's the most most low loathed film ever. But it is a film that when I mention it to somebody, they don't always respond too kindly to the film. Personally, I really enjoyed it. This one was released in 2002, directed by Stephen Brill. And stars Adam Sandler and Winona Ryder. Fantastic cast also includes, includes John Turturro, Conchata Farrell, um, Steve Buscemi. Brilliant cast, acting across the board, top notch. And the narrative is... It's pretty interesting. So the description from IMDb is quite vague, and I think I think I'll keep it vague as well, as I don't want to ruin too much of the narrative. This says a sweet-natured small-town guy inherits a controlling stake in a media conglomerate and begins to do business his way. So he inherits this money, and despite you know no experience in this industry, he he goes for it, and suddenly life begins to change quite rapidly, and. Also, the way he, he approaches things changes, and a lot of the film revolves around time he spends with Babe Bennett, played by Winona Ryder. Big Winona Ryder fan, and I love her role in this. It's never, it's never going to be my favourite Winona Ryder film. That's an absolute fact. And it's never going to be my favourite Adam Sandler film, because I actually like Adam Sandler's films, um, maybe before Netflix existed. But it, it is, it's still good fun. I think on screen the pair work really well together the narrative's full of surprises because of well because of this money it's a lot of money we're talking um millions i believe i can't remember off the top of my head but because there's a lot of money it allows allows him to do quite a lot of things and a lot of extravagant things and it's just awesome to see what he's going to do next in terms of, you know, the ending and concluding, it's not one of those films where your heart races towards the end, wondering what's going to happen, how it's going to conclude, who's going to come off better, who's going to come off worse. I wasn't really bothered about how it ended. Um, not, not a bad ending, not the best ending. I'm not going to say how it concludes, of course. But I think it kind of travelled to that point really well. It kept me engaged. It's relatively funny. It, it's rated 12A, which is pretty standard for an Adam Sandler film and I will say the humour is pretty standard for a Sandler film as well um, and I will say you should probably like Adam Sandler films because it's it's very much along the same lines it's it's good fun 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb which I think is relatively fair I'd give it probably a 6 meta score of 24 which is diabolical I think that's completely unacceptable and I hope you ignore that score um I tend to ignore ratings of films anyway. In fact, quite frankly, if a film has a really low rating, I'm more inclined to watch it because I want to see just how bad it is. And then usually I end up really liking the film. This is a film I watched because of the cast and because it sounded interesting and I thoroughly enjoyed it. If I were to recommend you an Adam Sandler film, I can't imagine this would be the one I'd jump to. Nevertheless, good fun, definitely worth a go.